Hey, come check this out. What you got? Mm. Oh, dang. Yeah, watch this. That's really deep. <laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey! Hey, Matt. Have you heard of Marco Rossi before? Yeah, dude, who didn't play Metal Slug when they were young? Did you know I have a bunch of the guns that Marco Rossi uses in the game? Matt, do you remember Warpath? Yeah, of course. I've been playing Warpath for years. Why are you asking me all these questions? Why am I talking to a pigeon? Matt, I have great news. Warpath and your friend Marco just collaborated. This is not me talking. He's actually saying this. Sweet! We should tell them about it. But hold on. I can make this cooler. <laughs> Nailed it. That's right guys, Metal Slug and Warpath collab is coming. They've got new missions, new battlefields, and a completely new gaming experience. In this crossover, Marco Rossi and Eric Casamoto from Metal Slug 3 are joining the Warpath army. The arrival of two new officers means the beginning of a new world adventure. Marco can strengthen the damage of troops and Eric can greatly reduce the enemy's hit rate. They're now at your disposal. This game is bringing you real-time strategy where the battle can take a turn and change as your strategy changes. Even if your opponent has the strongest weapons and the strongest base, you can observe their strategy and change up your tactics to claim victory even if you're the weaker opponent. Psst. Be strategic about weapon placement for a huge leg up in battle, like having light tanks charging the assaults and heavy tanks attacking the enemy in the rear. Warpath also released some special vehicles, including the SV-001, the beloved Metal Slug 3 super vehicle. You can choose from over 104 different tanks, 34 types of artillery, and 27 types of infantry armaments. New PvE maps are now available with this collaboration too. Use the SV-001 and fight with Marco Rossi and Eri Kasamoto on the new battlefields. I can't wait to pick a weapon for Marco Rossi to make him as invincible as he was in Metal Slug 3. Download Warpath today and participate in the collab event for a chance to win 1,000 US dollars. Thanks again to Warpath for sponsoring this episode. Oh, hey. Let's just uh, put some iPro on him. Nah, he doesn't need it. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Uh, we have some interesting guns here today. These are from Ren Metalworks. And uh, they're actually different guns that they have modified. Uh, this is ours. They uh, specifically made this one for us. This was a Henry Model X, and it is chambered in 44 Magnum, and we got it sent to Ren Metalworks for a little bit of customization. You can tell it looks very different, and you'll notice the barrel is huge because that is a suppressor. This is a integrally suppressed 44 Magnum lever action, and we are going to shoot it a bit today. We got an aim point optic on the top, and then we have some other guns from them as well. Uh, this is another one they made. This one is chambered in 4570. This is a Rossi, chambered in 44 mag. This is a Ruger bolt action. And they also have made this chassis and integrally suppressed. And it's chambered in 44 as well. We're gonna shoot all these things and see how they work. 44 Magnum is a big, heavy round. So shooting subsonic, you can put a, still a ton of energy downrange, even though it's subsonic. So it should be fairly quiet. And we also have some friends to shoot it at. Ow, we slapped each other's Sorry. hands. It was like a, not in a weird way though. All right, let's see how quiet it is by shooting right past these deer. Like not actually shooting the deer. These deer come whenever we uh, are out here because they think we're gonna feed them because we feed them and we don't shoot them. So let's see a 44 mag subsonic shot into some dirt. We'll scare these deer, ready? She ran towards it. She did kind of run towards it. I think she thought you threw food that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it again. She is running towards where it's going. So these are mag these are deer magnets. If you want if the deer to come with... to you, get you a Ren Metalworks. <laughs> well, now you're next to the steel. I can't even shoot over there. All her buddies, there's like nine more deer right there. This one's our friend. She's like super chill. I mean, a little too chill, I would say. When's deer season? When is deer season? No, it's not yet. Don't ask Jenna. She's going to say no. I mean, the game warden won't know. It's quiet. Yeah, we're not filming this and putting it on the internet. Oh, we are doing that shoot. Okay, <laughs> we're just kidding. We're filming this after deer season. This is from deer season 2022. Yes. Yeah, this is. We've been holding, the, on we've been holding this video for a bit. All right, I'm going to shoot some steel over here. I'm going to shoot that pig back there. Nothing will deflect and hit her, and we'll, oh, there's a baby over there. Look at the little baby. I just rocked behind the mom. There's two of them. 
They're right behind those mom. Look at that little Aww, baby. It's Bambi. All right, I'm gonna make some noise and see if we can scare. Her. Again, towards the. Okay, there she goes. There she goes. One more. Dude, you can like see them going through that sunlight. Okay, what were we doing? Oh yeah, testing this gun. Let's get some more ammo. So these are four plus one. So we'll go ahead and throw one in there. This is a one tack stamp gun, so you don't have to get a tack stamp for a short barreled rifle and then a suppressor. You just have it for the suppressor. Let's see how, well, let's, let's shoot in the dirt first. That's so quiet. And then we'll go ahead and hit metal. That steel is loud. That's crazy. Let's shoot something a little smaller. Smack it. Jeez. And I think this is our last one. I'm gonna hit one of these plates off the Texas Star. Jeez. The metal's so loud. Oh, cool. Look at this. We can shoot short range. Let's see if we can do long range. Also, these are all subsonic, so that is that loud with subsonic. So. We should shoot, we'll shoot some supers through it as well. Let's see what we can do here. Oof. Boom. Golly. Unamas. Offhand. Nice. God. You can hear them flying through the air. They're subsonic, so it's like. All right, I want to try supersonic. Our dear friend came back. D E E R, not dear friend, but dear. Our you know dear, what I mean. dear friend. Our dear, dear friend came back. Now we got supersonics, so we'll see how much louder they are, and see if she runs. She didn't move at all. She don't care. It didn't seem. I mean, it was louder, but it, it was yeah, louder. It, it you didn't, didn't you make my crack. ears ring. Oh, I missed. Are you actually aiming? There's a little bit of a ring on that one. Jeez, that thing rings. Yeah, she's just chilling there. She's like, so like, y'all got corn or what? <laughs> she's not impressed. She's so bored right now. Yeah. We're gonna try the Rossi out. It uh, is loaded with subs as well. I have no idea if this one's gonna shoot accurately at this range. I don't know if this side is sighted in. It's our first time. And we just got a 1x red dot. Yo. Boom. Dude, that thing's quiet. Yeah, you hear it spin know. through the air. Nice. Oh, it's shooting like three feet right. I was not aiming at that one. Well, you hit it. All right, I'm going to aim three feet left at the target I was aiming at. I think it's, that didn't go left Dude, enough. Thing is like... I figured it out on the last shot. You, you have to aim them. three feet left and one feet high, and this Trigicon will hit whatever you're aiming at. We got the Ruger bolt action now with a aftermarket mag, 44 mag. to see how hot this thing gets it's warming up I can feel it we're out that was pretty sick that's pretty quick yeah all right now man look how cool it looks okay now <laughs> this is the 4570 uh, this site was just put on here not sighted in so let's see where it's going I'm gonna shoot 45 this is supersonic also Shooting 4570 supersonic at close range, see where it's on. That wasn't crazy loud. The lead is raining from the skies. Jeez, that's a big boy. Uh, you want to go long range? Yeah, see if we can hit it. Ultimate hunting package right here. Put like a 6x scope on there. Sick. All right, let's see if we can figure out where these are flying. Man, that's loud ripping through the air. That was a miss. I don't know if you could tell by the no ding. Did that hit that? Why is that target rocking on the right? It's hanging on by. But did it move? Did no. It... No. Was the wind blowing that? 
I'm just gonna aim three feet left just in case. Got no idea. And we're out. Three plus one on this one. Let's throw some subs in it and try to hit something up close. Subsonic 4570. These are 550 grain bullets. So still throwing a huge projectile, but just slower than the speed of sound so it won't crack. Should I hit metal or should I hit dirt? I hit dirt first. I wanna hit metal first. Okay, then do whatever you want. Okay, though. perfect. You can tell it's gonna be quiet though when you hit the dirt. All right, dirt. I'm yep. gonna go dirt way over there too. Ready? Dang. Oh, you're all loud as it hits the dirt <laughs> yes. even. Like, sounds like you're throwing a huge rock at it. I'm gonna go even further. I'm gonna hit dirt real far away. Jeez. That's, that's crazy. Cool. That's the recoil like. Uh, it's not bad. I'm gonna shoot through the windshield of this rental car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I made the guys nervous. <laughs> we are shooting subsonic 44 Magnum in the Nicholas Irving sniper stance at some clear ballistics gel. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! That thump! All right, now we're doing 4570 subsonic. That went through hard. So the 44 mag and the 4570 uh, subsonics were both just a solid bullet. Um, they were not hollow points. So now I'm going to shoot a supersonic uh, hollow point 44 mag. So both of them pretty much zipped right through and uh, made a wound cavity probably about that big. Uh, maybe three inches in diameter. This thing should have a much bigger effect on that block. <laughs> oh <my God>. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, that was a little different. Uh, the wound cavity got bigger than the block. It really like swelled it out. You can see looking down in here um, that, well, I just kind of made a mark on it, but you can see there's just tiny little strips where those solid bullets went through. And then when that hollow point came in, it really made a big hole down there in the middle. But I think it's only fair now. We do a 4570 supersonic and it should be pretty mean. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We got a 4570. Mean machine. This should hurt that block. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I noticed that would rock me back on my heels a little bit too. Push me. Uh, so this is entrance here. And you can see maybe in there there's some copper and a little bit of red from the tip. So it was opening up, losing that jacket. Oh, pfft. look at all of this. You can see through the side really well. This thing is really good at dumping energy. It was breaking off, pieces are flying everywhere in there. Yeah, and it went through all the way. It did go through all the way. All of them passed all the way through this, but it definitely left some pieces in there. So we don't have any subsonics that have expanding bullets. They probably exist, and if you're hunting, they would probably be the round to do. This is a little softer than normal skin, normal tissue, and so it does pass through really well on this and it probably would do less on a deer or something. But either way, you wouldn't want to hunt a deer with a FMJ. You'd want to use something with an expanding tip, subsonic or supersonic. Let's try some lethality though on a subsonic um, bullet against a man. Mikey! We couldn't find Mikey, so we, we got that guy. All right, 44 mag, subsonic. What do you think, just dome him? Uh, I mean, aim for his, like, uh... Should I just collarbone him first? No, I don't want to collar. Yeah, aim for the throat. <laughs> throat shot him? All right. Hit him right in the throat. You ready? Ooh. Ouch. Did you hear it, like, thunk when it went through? Like, <laughs> paralyzed him from the neck down? <laughs> like, that's... I was going to say it hurt, but maybe he doesn't feel it. If you're paralyzed, like, from a neck shot, does it hurt? Or is it just, like, warm? Well, when I got shot... How do you feel? He's not responding. I'm trying to figure out where the bullet came out. 
or if it did. I saw stuff come out the back on the shot. I mean, we saw the slow-mo, it was awesome. There's the entrance. Oh yeah, that's the entrance going right through the top of his sternum there. That's fatal, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's cracked right here. How's there not an exit though? Where's the exit? We're missing it somewhere. We're gonna have to shoot him again, because I have no idea what happened. Yeah, you can see it, it goes and hits his, I can see a line going all the way right to his spine. Oh, this is it. You can see it right there. It is coming out. It's a tiny little hole. I can see a trail going from it. It hit the very bottom part of the spine that's in there. So yeah, he is paralyzed. Um, so now we can shoot him without having any guilt because... Yeah, what's that quality of life like? Yeah, we, we're helping him. 44 mag subsonic to the mouth. Mm, I hurt my teeth. I didn't think about... Ow. Right here, <laughs> busted oh, him jaw, right in the lower there. jaw. Oh yeah, you can feel the crunch too. Lower jaw cracked, came back, hit him in the spine there. Uh, just winged the outside of his spine, came out. So, a little more paralyzed. Yeah, he for sure is a little more paralyzed and gonna have to eat through a straw. Do you want to just forty-five seventy? So we just put him out of his misery. Supersonic to yeah. the to the dome. Straight to the dome. Okay, giddy up. Yeah, let's blow them sky high. Supersonic. We got a uh, little hollow point. This one's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, chunks flew out of it. He's very dead. Uh, right through the eye. Right here, oh, you he's see got no, the runny nose. He's uh, he's oozing his alien blood. That's why we were gonna kill him because we knew he was an alien. And then oh, no. cracked his entire skull. But you can see where that bullet came out right here. I mean, just oh. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. If you ever hear your skull making that noise, seek medical attention immediately. He is unfortunately deceased 44 mag rapid fire versus him this is actually a deleted scenes from cowboys versus aliens um i didn't know you were in that one uh yeah it was, it was pretty good ready there went his skull <laughs> um <laughs> did you see that part if the... uh if you're interested in a gun that will take someone's skull out of their head this is the one for you. <laughs> if you want to know how to decide if someone's an alien or a human and you shoot them and their skull falls out of their head that's how you know that is so wrong 100 percent. he was an alien it just ripped his his whole skull out <laughs> that's probably what's going to get us demonetized on this video <laughs> demonetization we have a uh, a train window that's this where is, that went it's not like hard glass but it's supposed to be slightly bulletproof it's thick it's probably three quarters of an inch thick um, and it's made to resist things that are in front of a train um, animals birds bullets bullets chicago i think it's supposed to stop like at least up to a 22. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna see if a subsonic 44 will stop will this train windshield protect our mostly dead alien mostly dead because we've never tested if an alien can survive without its skull in its head so it might, we don't know. Science isn't there That's yet. why they're here. 44 subsonic versus the alien train. Oh yeah, it went right through. <laughs> <laughs> I could see his like floppy head going like this behind it. So maybe it's kind of impact resistant, but it's not 44 mag impact resistant. So you can see it has like soft layer, 
which is what bulletproof glass has too. Like it'll have a soft layer. Actually, it looks like yeah, it has a soft layer on the back and in the middle, and hard layers of glass in between it. But went right in, plopped him in the face. Oh look, hmm. that's bullet. This one is stung. So it did slow it down a lot, but probably yeah, there's chunks in his in his face. Probably still would have uh, took out our alien train conductor. And as soon as I catch it, I'm gonna run and shoot the llama in the face, okay? A little closer. Okay, just keep going until they make it in. One, will, I've seen people do trick shots and they'll, it'll go in eventually. Yep, oh, that was so cool. Hold on, um, get really close, just get really close. Like close, close, so they can't see anything. Ready? Got it! Got it! My job here is done. So if you're looking for a tactical lever action suppressed, check out Red Metalworks. Uh, these things are pretty sweet. 44 mag subsonic is something I've never shot before, but it was pretty awesome. So thanks to the guys from Red Metalworks for hooking us up with our first demolition ranch integrally suppressed lever action. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.